I'm Rodney Korn. I'm here in my home office and I want to spend a few minutes with you to walk through some of the PTA Global systems that we use. Those of you that have been involved with us and know us realize that we come from a systems, sciences, and tools approach and the systems are extremely important to us as a company but to you as an individual or you as a trainer or you as a club because they provide you with an organized method to manipulate all the information that we give you. So I'd like to talk to you about two of the systems, the program design questionnaire and the program design model, the program design tool that's on the website. Both of these are accessible through the course or courses through PTA Global, but I'm not sure that everyone understands the association between the two, the connection between the two, and the power of the two. So I just want to take a couple of minutes and explain to you. First off is the questionnaire. Now when you go through either the certification or the bridging course, you will go through Program Design Part 3, and in Program Design Part 3 we have a couple of sections on questionnaire. Now we have tons of information throughout the courses on behavior communication, behavioral change, motivational interviewing, verbal extraction, all these different techniques of communicating and connecting with a client. What we've done is we've taken all of that and we've put it onto one page, and this is called the Program Design Questionnaire, or what you would see referred to as the PDQ. We like acronyms where we are, so we use the PDQ. Now, the PDQ just organizes all the questions that you would ask a client to specifically connect with them. The purpose of it is, one, the connection and creating that rapport, getting the client to talk to you and tell you. Two, it's to give you an actual layout of what questions to ask, and it, it t obtains the goal, the style or the training preference, that the type of training that the client would want to do that would make them most compliant and probably agree with their personality best, and also their level of ability. This is then connected to an actual program design tool that we've created for you with over 840 programs that I'll show you in a second. Now how this works is it's in four steps. Step one, step two, step three, step four. So it goes in a clockwise circle on a square page. So step one are just exploration questions that talk about a client's goal. This is where you find out the client's goal. And not only just the goal, but why that goal is important to them. Because that's their motivation for being there. Step two talks about the style. What type of training do they really want to do or would they really like to do? Would they like to do more traditional, machine-based, very common and safe, safe or, or I should say known exercises? Things that they've seen and, and, and are readily available in the public and through uh, magazines or different shows on television or whatnot. So things that are very known. And then the third box over here is for the level. What level are they? Are they a beginner, intermediate, advanced? And then over here, step four, is what we call the motivational interviewing. This is what gets at their, their true motivation for being there. So four simple steps on four different boxes that each one of them has a specific purpose to connect with the client. Once you gather this information, you have their goal, you have their style, you have their level of ability, and why that's so important to them and what's going to drive them and motivate them. So this is, in a nutshell, the PDQ, the Program Design Questionnaire, that you can ask every single member, every single client, every single person who's looking to do a workout or going to do a workout with you, and from this you can obtain some very, very valuable information for them. A great communication tool, whether it's for a salesperson, whether it's for a trainer, whether it's for a fitness manager, it doesn't matter. This is, has extremely powerful and organized questioning with very specific types of questions. And so we put all the smarts into this piece of paper so you don't have to do all the guesswork. Okay? So that's the first part. This is the questionnaire that connects you to the client to find out who they are, what they want, and why they want it. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll go to the program design tool, which I'm not sure very many of us actually know exists on the course, and show you where it is and what it looks like. Okay, so here we are now, looking at a computer screen. So I've logged on, and now you can see that I'm on my career pathway. And on the right-hand side of the career pathway, you will notice there's the print this career pathway, program design tool, global community, PT on the net. If you click on the program design tool, what that will do is pull up the program design tool. <laughs> so once you get to this, 
what this does now is directly correlate to the PDQ that we just discussed. So the first squares that you see on the screen are all relative to a person's goal. We've put them into four basic goals, weight loss, sports conditioning, wellness, and lean body mass. So if you click on the person's goal, say you did a client and they said that their goal was wellness. They just wanted to feel better. They wanted to have more vitality. They just wanted to be able to play with their children. Well, you click on wellness, and then the second level is now their style. So this coincides with the second box on the PDQ. What style of training did they tell you they wanted? Do they want something that's more controlled, something that has exercises that are more known, or are they somebody who wants to do really kind of progressive exercises, more motion involved, a lot of standing and moving, and do things that are non-traditional? or they a combination of in between. So then you would come to here and you would select on the specific style that they chose. Let's say they chose a progressive style. Now you click on that and the third box opens up and this leads us to what's their level of ability. So is it a lead off which is beginner? Are they transitional which is intermediate? Or are they a go ahead which is an advanced client. So let's say they were transitional, they were kind of an intermediate client. Once you click on that, so click the goal, click the style, click the level of ability, three clicks, and now you'll see over here that there are 12 weeks, 12 weeks of pre-made programs designed to, to fit specifically the goal, that particular style of training, and their level of ability. And so when you open up the goal, it's in 12 weeks. There's four different weeks for each phase of training, what we call sensory motor, force, and power. When you open up the program, you will have an already made template that will tell you exactly what to do with that person. And we discussed this in the actual educational courses of how to manipulate the exercise or the program based upon that particular person. But these courses, or these actual workouts, these playouts as we call them, are now specifically matched to that particular person. So now in three clicks, you can have your workout, and not only just one workout, but a workout for 12 weeks, which is a great marketing tool to show your client or the person that, based upon what you've told me, I already have 12 weeks prepared for you. All I have to do is manipulate it based upon how you feel that day. And so here is the workout. There's a movement preparation. There's an actual goal base training section for the, the movements. And then there's a movement recovery and then a section for client notes. So it's all laid out for you. Plus there's pictures. So you can utilize the pictures. And if for any reason the client wants the workout after they're done, you can simply hand them that and they can use the pictures and walk themselves through the exercise program itself. So I just wanted to spend a few minutes to walk you through to let you know that the program design questionnaire is specifically mapped and matched to the program design tool to give you an output. So we're trying to create a solution so you don't have to worry about anything. Here are the questions to ask, just ask them. Here are the programs to do, just go do them. Now you can enjoy being a trainer or being the person that you are with that client and not have to worry about thinking and creating all the different processes. All you have to do is manipulate it based upon who they are and how they're feeling that particular day. So we hope that helps. We hope that you enjoy and start to access this and use it. If you have any questions, feel free to call us, contact us, drop us a line, and let us know what you think. You guys have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.